YouTube, YouTube, back again with another sneaker custom. I'm JSM801, uh, collaborating with Angelus today to show you guys the matte finish on a Fearless One. Before we start on the custom, I'm gonna go over a few products um, a lot of people ask about, which is the Angelus finishers. So I have this piece of Angelus leather and I'll walk you through on how to use and what the finished product is on these finishers. So the first one we're gonna use, of course, is the matte finish. A lot of people say they have a hard time getting this to the matte finish they want. It could be one of two reasons why. First mistake I think a lot of people make is they don't shake the bottle really well before they use it. Look at the bottom. If it looks like there's like a bar of soap at the bottom, that is the matting agent in this formula. So you need to shake it really well until all that is gone, till you can see through the bottom of your bottle. So just shake it really well, uh, make sure it's all mixed in, and then you're gonna load it into your airbrush gun. The method that I have used is I use a heat gun hand in hand with the matte finish through an airbrush gun. So if you don't have one, you can use a brush, but it's just, it's a lot harder to get even. Uh, it's harder to get that actual matte finish. You probably really won't be able to notice how matte it is until I'm gonna use the Angelus gloss finisher, the high gloss. Once I lay this one down, you're really gonna be able to see how well that matte finish turns out. So let's go ahead and do that next. This one you can apply with a brush. It is a lot easier to get on even and, and get that gloss look. And this one, you don't need your heat gun. Uh, you can get it if, you're, if you wanna move through the shoe faster, of course, um, to get it to cure. You have the high gloss on this side and the matte on this side. Huge, huge difference. I'm a big fan of the matte finish, but when I do my custom leather, you know, patent leather uh, 11s, this is my go-to, of course. So let's move on to the next one and to show you guys the satin. And uh, it leaves a sheen that a lot of factory shoes come with as well. Um, gives you a little bit of gloss, but not too much. And this one as well, you can, you can add in with a brush and dry with a heat gun as soon as you're done. It's got a little bit more gloss than the matte, but not as gloss as the high gloss. So it's kind of a medium. And then the last one we're gonna do is the 600, which is almost as gloss as your high gloss, but not as glossy. And again, this one you can use with a paintbrush as well. And for people that don't have an airbrush gun, the only one you're really gonna have a problem with is that matte finish. Uh, but it is doable. You're just gonna have to be super careful, apply very lightly. Each coat needs to be super, super thin. So what I like to do when I'm applying that matte finish is dip it in, touch a paper towel, and then wipe it on the shoe. All right, now let's get into the custom. And the first thing we're gonna do is go ahead and deglaze these. On this custom, it's super important that you take one pad with the glazer on it and go over each color. You don't wanna mix it. On this patent leather, the, the material will start to bleed. And the last thing you want is to be wiping down this red and then drag that paint over to the white or even over to the blue, because then you're just creating a mess. So I highly recommend to use four different pads, one pad for each color. Super, super thorough. Make sure that you are taking off that top layer, just scuffing it up. That way the, the mat has something to bond to. It's super, super important to, to make sure that you, you deglaze these properly. You'll notice on these shoes too, from the factory, they have a lot of glue issues. Over gluing, just glue in random spots. So make sure you get all that out of the way as well. This deglazer is good for that. As you're wiping this off, it almost feels rough as to where it was smooth before. It almost feels sticky, like you have like maybe some stirrup on your finger or something that you, you would notice. It just feels a little bit stickier. Prepping is always key. Prepping takes the longest, but I promise you, the more time you spend prepping, the easier the rest of the custom is going to be. Other questions that people ask me too, is this gonna stop it from creasing? Because we all know patent leather is the worst. Nobody likes to wear patent leather shoes because of the creasing. Um, this does not change that. So no, it is still gonna crease, um, but if you prep right and everything, it'll, it'll, it'll go right through the creases, completely wearable you'll have no issues. 
you want your matte finish super, super thin. The more flexible, the longer it's gonna last, the more durable it's gonna be. Okay, now what I'm doing is I'm wiping off any dust, anything on here that you do not want permanently stuck to your shoe because once you apply that matte finish, if there's hair, any fibers from your micro, my, microfiber rag or anything like that, it'll definitely be stuck on your shoe. Light coats. I'm gonna do two to three light coats and I'm gonna let it dry about a minute in between coats or you can pull your heat gun up, speed it up a little bit. And I normally just like to hold it maybe, you know, 12 to 15 inches away from the shoe and just let the mist hit the shoe. Definitely should be wearing a mask when you're doing this at home. All right, that does it for that. I'm just gonna wait for this last coat to dry. Now on to the fun part. Get the matte finish. So I'm just gonna start spraying light coats and just go over the shoe until it's as matte as I want. So just light coat, start on one side of the shoe, slowly move around um, to the other side of the shoe, letting the other side of the shoe dry and you'll eventually achieve that look that you're looking for. Just make sure you're getting in through all the panels where the panels lay over other panels inside these creases because if you don't, it's gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Like we got two really solid even coats so I'm gonna go ahead and do the third one with the heat gun just to make sure I get that nice finished even look okay I'm gonna apply this finish and then I'm gonna let it sit on here for a couple seconds and then hit it with the heat gun if you don't have a heat gun a blow dryer will work. If you don't have an airbrush gun on this custom, it's gonna be super, super hard to do. So I definitely recommend using an airbrush gun. The key is to get it to dry as fast as possible. Get this to crystallize, to dry, to cure, and that's gonna give you the look that you want. And we're gonna go ahead and grab the Q-tip, some rubbing alcohol. Can't stress more, do not use the glazer on this step because this is plastic. The glazer will basically make it super, super foggy. It'll ruin that outer layer and uh, you'll no longer be able to see the Wings logo inside that. So again, rubbing alcohol on a Q-tip. Okay, that is it. We are done with this custom. Again, this is gonna work for your shattered backboards. This is gonna work for your gold toes. Basically any shoe that has patent leather. Again, I'm JSM801. Teamed up with Angelus today to bring you this tutorial on how to mat out your Jordan 1 Fearless.